There was news today. I mean, I, it's a little slow. Everybody's talking Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, <laughs> everybody's talking Super Bowl from like every single angle imaginable. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but there was a little bit of news. Uh, it's been reported uh, by the Las Vegas Review Journal that the Raiders are looking to trade Derek Carr anywhere that they can get two first-round picks from. And then they want to use two first-round picks? Well, we'll get into that. Let me just explain the whole thing. They'll use the two first-round picks to match with other picks and, you know, maybe a player. And they really want to get four first-round picks that they can send to the Texans for Deshaun Watson. Now, here's what I I, I agree with you. Um, I Who in the world is giving two first-round picks for Derek Carr? Derek Carr wasn't even a first-round pick. I could see the Raiders sending him plus two first-round picks to get somebody. <laughs> That's the I only mean, way I can see and, and look, Derek he's, Carr he's being solid. involved with two first-round picks. Right. He's a good player. He's a you know above-average quarterback. I'm sorry, Rob G. I know he's your man, and I like him as a guy. He seems like a great guy, but t- really? Two first-round picks? Is this, hello, is this thing on? Hey, I don't get it. I'm sorry, what? But here's the other part, Rob. So Adam Schefter, who obviously does a great job covering the NFL, he was on radio in Philly today, and he said that Carson Wentz still wants out of Philly. And if the Eagles can get a good package for him where they get fair value or close probably need at least fair value because all that money they're going to be hit with you know and dead money if they trade him um if i'm a team out there and i'm gonna throw out one team indianapolis good got a nice team the right quarterback now look obviously kansas city's gonna be the favorite for a long time but they're not gonna win it every year so you know with the right quarterback Indianapolis might be able to sneak in there and get one. If I'm Indianapolis, Rob, and I got Frank Reich as my coach who worked well with Carson Wentz in Philadelphia when Wentz was on pace to win the MVP, I would rather have Carson Wentz than Derek Carr. And I'm going to throw the money at you because I know a lot of people, well, the, the money, the money. Derek Carr has two years left on his deal at $19.5 million each. Now, it is true that you can cut him at any time and get out of the contract because he's already been paid all his bonus money. All but also, he's, a, he's on what you call money, huh? A non-guaranteed money. Right, right. And so and now Wentz obviously got a lot of money left, three years, but it's, you know, $21 million each because of all the bonus money he got up front. So here's why I would rather have Wentz. One, I think his ceiling is much higher. I think we know what Derek Carr is. He's a good quarterback. He made the, he, he's had one winning season in his seven years in the league. All right. Now, it's either Carr or John Gruden. One of them ain't good enough. And well, we know it, it's it might be Gruden. both. It, right, it could I was be both. Say. You know? But I think if Wright can get Wentz right, and I think Wentz was good last year. Wasn't just the one year. He wasn't great last year, but he was good. And if Wright can get him right, he's in a new environment where they believe in him. He doesn't have to look over his shoulder at the either the Super Bowl champion backup, Nick Foles, or at the guy they just drafted, Jalen Hurts. I think he could be rejuvenated, and he could be your guy going forward for the next eight to ten years. I don't see that happening with Derek Carr. So that's, Rob, why I would go with Carson Wentz. If I'm Indy, I'd rather go after him. Well, I, th- I think we both agree that, that Wentz's ceiling and just getting fixed or with the right, you know, coach or coordinator or whatever can get can get him righted. Like, like it's not like he's never performed. It would be different if you're year four or five, Chris, and, and you're like, well, is he ever going to snap in, you know, snap out of it or ever be good? Right. He was good. He was really good. Uh, and, and I think that that's still, you got to feel like that was there. That's inside him. Uh, there's some things going on that maybe got him out of, uh, kilter and just the way things were being run and all that other stuff. And, uh, he's the guy. 
and I would take a chance on him. I would like to see him for two or three years before I could say definitively he can't do it anymore. I just I just right. think that the sky's the limit for him uh, when things are in in better shape, and I think when he's in the right frame of mind. You know, like even Jared Goff, I, I saw the quote about going to Detroit, Chris, and he's saying. You know, I'm just he's talking about go- Detroit, like he's but, going to uh, to but, Kansas City, or but you know why? Like because <laughs> it's going to feel like that to him because he was with a coach that didn't appreciate him or didn't really, right, you know, right. you could be there and and go to the Super Bowl or whatever, but if the coach doesn't really endorse you or everything's right. a question mark with you, it's hard to get up for Not that. Play, you know it's what hard I mean? To play looking over it is. It, it's just, it's just hard to play. I don't care how talented you are. You say don't. Don't let that bother you and all that. No, there's a degree of that. You want to be comfortable and say, I'm just out here to play. And every time I throw an interception or a bad pass, I don't have to worry about somebody warming up on the sidelines. Right, right. And and look, it's a risk going for Wentz. I'm not going to sit here and act like he's a sure thing. Like, you know, it's almost like the equivalent of getting Deshaun Watson. It is not. He might be broken. He might be irreparable. But I want to make sure he's broken, though. I'd right. rather take a chance. I, I know yeah, where Derek Carr is. Yeah, I could Carr play is. it safe and get Derek Carr. Yeah, I just think, yeah, he's not he's not taking me to the promised land. He's just not. And Wentz may, or he may be a bust. It'd be an expensive, you know, risk if it doesn't pan out. But I, I agree with you in that I would take that chance. Now, I don't think I need to see him for two years. If he goes to Indy next year, so let's say they trade for him. And he's bad next year, or you know, mediocre. Yeah, yeah. no, I. Then got I it. think that's enough. Like, and, and they probably couldn't get rid of him. You'd just be stuck with him for the next two years. But you know, I, I'd be like, okay, he's something. Something happened. And, he and, just doesn't have it anymore. And we mentioned Jared Goff. Remember, Chris? We watched him the first year with Steve Fisher. Awful. I, I thought he couldn't play. I thought he was a total bust. Do you remember his first year? Jeff Fisher. Yep. Yep. Jeff Fisher. What I say, and we said that about a lot of co- coaches with or players with Jeff. Yeah, Fisher. with Jeff Fisher. <laughs> but 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 I remember that, and then all of a sudden he had a turnaround, and and I was like, wait a minute, where was that? You know what I mean? Like, right. so right. so working with the right people and the right circumstance and setting up players to succeed and and having them do what they do and and be successful, uh, those things are are, are important. If you're a quarterback needy club like Indianapolis, would you rather trade for Carson Wentz or Derek Carr? What say Uh, you? All right, let's start with uh, Jimmy in Tucson. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy. Fellas, fellas, how are you? What's up, brother? Uh, So I'm hearing this. If I'm Indy and I'm looking for a quarterback, I'm all over Derek Carr. Mm. You guys are on the Carbashian train. Carr is so underrated. He hasn't had a defense. He hasn't had the tools around him until recently. He, other than injuries that have popped up, Carr is worth How way recently? More. How recently? Well, he, well, other than when he came back from his this, – this year is probably the first year he's had tools put around him to succeed. Other and they were the eight and eight. And what happened? Because they were eight and eight. Defense. They gave him the tools to succeed on offense. They were able to score the points. The defense couldn't back up the other side. It's been uh, you know seven what? years, my exactly. man. Exactly. Come on, man. I, I ain't buying that. I, I, I just think people – And I, that, yeah. That's where we go now. E- everything is not anybody's fault. I mean, right. I, Carr's you know, that, that's, fine. I, He's I, a I good can't quarterback. Do it. Just, you know what I mean? He's solid, but, I mean, he is what he is. Right. I mean, right, it was is, a few oh, years ago. We Everybody was yelling about Derek Carr. Here he comes. And, and he, he didn't. didn't come. Right. He didn't, right. <laughs> he didn't get there. <laughs> Oh, Wayne and Mitchell. I didn't mean it like that. Is that a <laughs> drop? Is that no, that right? wasn't a drop. Wayne, uh, get rid of that tape, Alex. Wayne in uh, Richmond, Virginia. It. You're on the Odd uh, Couple Fox Sports Radio. Chris, what's on, on your mind? No, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little upset today. I had a bad day. I got something I didn't expect, but go ahead. That's all right. You know what? You live with it. I'm Man up them back. and live with it. No, you not. Uh, go ahead, it. Wayne. What's going on, fellas? Hey, um, first of all, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. So, I don't know if y'all remember, I called in a few times. I was in Augusta, Georgia, but moving on up, right? All over right, Richmond. Richmond. Right? Y'all nice, okay. nice town. Congrats, congrats. Appreciate that, fellas. Um, and I'm a Raiders fan, diehard Raiders fan, and I would prefer Carson Wentz over Derek Carr. 
A um, couple points why, right? Like, we've heard it, right? Derek Carr um, is a decent quarterback. Um, looking at the weapons we currently have, we have the third best tight end in the league because I think Kittle's a better blocker, and Kelsey's amazing. Um, you have the wannabe Tyreek Hill, right, with uh, right. the most recent draft pick, which I would have preferred any other receiver in the, draft, <laughs> in the top. But when it's all said and done, he's, you know, a good quarterback for what he's given. Um, Carson Wentz has shown me that he can overcome, right? That's the one thing I worry about Derek Carr. Like, he can't overcome bad situations or bad receivers or bad anything. Wentz has had lost linemen, everything. Right. And Last what year, I- everybody was hurt. And the year before, remember, they won the division down the stretch uh, with a lot of guys injured to beat Dallas in that big game. So, yeah, I agree with that, uh, Wayne. Appreciate the call. Josh in Waco. I'm assuming Waco, Texas. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up? Guys, it's great to be on the show. I'm glad you took my call. It's an honor to be on the Odd Couple. I love both of you guys, and you do great work. I appreciate it. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, my man. Good to have you. Appreciate it. Somebody's appreciative on the show. I appreciate that. (laughs) I follow you guys both on Twitter, and I've I've always thought about calling in. I was like, ah, today's the day I'm calling in. But, uh, no, if – as far as the, those two quarterbacks, I think if since Andy's a pretty well-built team, they have a lot of, of good, solid players everywhere. And what Chris talked about with the cap ramifications, I think just the, the the safer, not the sexier pick would be obviously. I think it'd be Derek Carr. Uh, he's not. He, he won't safer, go out there and no win a game, but he won't. So he your won't choice lose. would be Carr. Carr, Carr, Carr for now. And it's uh, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I've seen what wins does and. I'm not one of those fans that they talk about on the radio. I'm a, I'm a realistic one. We're we're not we're not all that way. But I I've seen what Carson Wentz can do, and I and I'm not on the boat that his career's washed. And obviously, if he is able to return to that form like he was under Frank Reich, it'd be it'd be wonderful. But I think the better like the safer bet for Indy if they don't want to risk what they saw this year with Carson. Nah, it, it'd be, it's it'd definitely be Carr. safer. There's no, no doubt. That, that, that's not Josh, even a question. Josh, that, that's true. That's a safe pick. But without risk, Chris, there's no reward sometimes, right? No risk it, no biscuit. That, that's right. Uh, Mark in Sacramento, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Mark. What's going on, gentlemen? <laughs> before before I get to the Raider thing, hey, Rob, I, I see you giving out a bunch of uh, uh, Jordans here lately. Don't forget <laughs> about our bet. Ten and a half black Stacey Adams. Don't forget, bro. Mark, Mark, <laughs> yes. you better get, don't get your hopes up, brother. What are you talking about? Um, Chris, he'll send you some Stacy. Hey, he'll hey, send you, know you some Stacy Hamiltons. Or- you know what? Chris <laughs> is the most ungrateful guy I've ever met. Oh my god! You know, gosh. Christian Fourier bragged about the joints that he got, and Chris has <laughs> all got his panties in a bunch because I don't know what he was I, expecting. I sure do. It's it's like Rob. You know it. You were on the beat. I told you this. Hold story. on, Mark. You got Go it. Ahead, Hold on. We got you. Go ahead. My Thank first Chris. year, you know, covering colleges, I stayed in the days in, the holiday in, and I thought <laughs> I was living the life. Once I started covering the NBA and I'm staying at the Marriott Marquis Getting and, points. and all that, yeah, I'm like, you couldn't have paid me during my NBA run to stay in the holiday in or days in. That's what it's like. I've seen Rob Parker in 30 pairs of sneakers. No, no, Never no. Never something like he don't, just mailed don't, me. No, those, those <laughs> sneakers, Golly. Mark, came out in 2020. Those are hot. And Chris just, ahead, he, had, he had something in his mind that he thought he was getting, and now yeah, he's disappointed. up to 200 bucks. We supposed right, that was go the ahead, bro. Mark. He's got them. That's it. Yeah, I got you, bro. Real, real quick, I, I'm probably your oldest Raider fan. It's the only team I've ever rooted for all the way back to La Monica, to Warren Wells, all the way through Mark Marijuanovich and and Mark and, and Marcus Allen and Bo Jackson. Ty so Berinovich. I'm a Raider fan. I'm a Raider fan. <laughs> I right, would yep. take Wentz. I would take Wentz. I've seen check down Derek Carr. He won't throw that ball down the field. I scream at my television, dude, throw the ball down the field. Wentz will throw the ball down the field, and the Raiders have one of the top offensive lines that Gruden has been able to build to protect him because he's got the hell beat out of him the last two years. So I think no, that's it, a big it, key, and he's got and he's got a good tight end in Waller who's coming on. They got some young wide receivers. I think Wentz would fit perfect within a Gruden's offense. Yeah, we're with you. We're with you. I mean, it's just yeah. you know what you get in car: safe bet, safe quarterback, but uh, probably not taking you anywhere. A, a really good game manager, and a little beyond that. All right. 